Alright guys, it's been a couple weeks since I've last made a video. Anybody remember this computer? That's right. Back with the HP, I think this is the P6000 series. If I'm correct. Unfortunately, we got some sad news. The power supply is dead on it. Yep, P6000 series. I think this computer is from the early 2010s maybe 2012 something like that yep we got no green light on as you can see there is power power's hooked up right there and yeah I already know the power supply is dead because when you go to plug it in once in a while you go to plug it in it makes the whole light this light here and the fan It'll make anyways it makes the light go down when you plug it in sometimes so yeah very unfortunate I cannot find a similar power supply to this on Amazon no green light I don't want to really want to chance plug it in and out anymore and then potentially blow something up even though it's probably already blown anyway uh, let me lay it on the side here one second now, unfortunate, unfortunately, I do not have any power supply testers with me on hand. So, but with the light in here dimming so quick or dimming out of nowhere, it's probably withdrawing so much electricity where it can't even work right. It did that twice off camera earlier. Unless something... Unless these, some of these wires are burnt, which they, it's been kind of questionable since I first got this computer. I think I smell something burning, but I don't know. Isn't it missing a wire right there? For something? I don't know. I mean, I don't see any blown capacitors in the... On the, um circuit board I didn't see any blown ones in the power supply so hmm could it be something different I don't know guys I don't know yeah see even doing tilting that does no justice Yep, so, very, very unfortunate that this power supply is dead. Here's the uh, specs of it, by the way, for those who are curious. Yeah, so, maybe I could try and plug it and plug it back in. Maybe it'll come back to we're out live. I don't want to put a different power supply in here. Like, I have a power supply out of another computer. But I don't think the specs match up. I'll show you what I mean. I have to go back inside for this. One second. But yeah, here's the other power supply for this. I just realized I didn't have that SSD mounted. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, I apologize. Here's the power supply for this other computer from... The abandoned trailer, the custom belt one, that is. Yeah, so off camera, I did a little work to this. This is a this is actually the This is a SATA 2 solid state drive out of the it came out of Toshiba Tekra A9 laptop, which is decommissioned. Cause I could not I had difficulties trying to locate the RTC battery, which I could not locate. This is running off in the HDD, the Hitachi 950 gig, I think it is. But this was just to test purposes. This is actually running Windows 7. Unfortunately, it's only due to the fact that it's only, what was the capacity again? Yes, about 80 gigs. Or it was either 60 or 80 gigs. I forgot how much exactly. Due to the short capacity, I'm not going to bother upgrading that to Windows 10. And this computer, it's somehow, 
even though it has hard hardware from like the late 2000s, maybe early 2010s, it somehow can still run Windows 10. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think this power supply is going to work on that HP Epiphilian P6000 series. If you think it does, let me know, because I hate to, you know, gamble and then end up blowing up the power, this power supply on it. There is one thing I could try, maybe. Um, just a second. Alright, there is one more thing I'm going to try to do. Maybe change out the CMOS battery. I did measure the CMOS battery earlier, but... Probably not going to make a difference. Let me get a screwdriver or something. And be extremely careful doing this. Yep. Just like that. Probably not going to make any difference, but I'll try it anyways. Um, let me put the new CMOS battery in. Okay, I just had to turn that mess off. I turned my watt meter off. I think that both of these, this CMOS ba battery is the same voltage size. It has to be in like the double digits, not the single digits, otherwise it's no good. I'm going to plug it in. Now watch very closely. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I'm going to plug it in and see if it does the same thing where it makes the lights dim bad. I don't think I can do it one-handed. No, it didn't do it that time. Still, yep, still nothing. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going too crazy on plugging and plugging it back in. No matter what I do, it's just very aggravating, you know. Alright, unplug that before something on it blows up. Well, it's probably already blown, blown anyways, so I'll just put the other CMOS battery back in. Oh yeah, I could take the RAM chips out, but that's not going to make it look a difference. Because the power supply is dead. Well, maybe I could try taking the RAM chips out. It won't make it lick. Just, just, for, just for craps and giggles, I'll just take this out and just see if that makes a difference. I doubt it. There, go over there, and then ain't gonna make it's not gonna make a difference. I don't think. Watch, just the light's probably gonna maybe dim again. Nope, it didn't, but it's nothing. The green light right there, still dead. I don't even know if I can find a... I don't even think you can be able to find another power supply like this. Like I said, every once in a while, it will withdraw a lot of power. Even though the voltage switch... Well, you know, I just realized I didn't put that all back in place all the way. Let me see about that. Hold on. Or maybe it was in place all the way. I don't know. It's on 115, you can't have it on 230 or whatever the hell it is because that's for if you're in the UK. Same thing. I'm not going to bother flipping it to the other side because it's just going to tear something up. I learned that the hard way years ago. This is it's really aggravating, guys. Like... Now I have to go on Amazon, get another, find a similar power supply to this. I doubt you'll never find one like this. Cause you know, Amazon, you know, Amazon's, that's just how Amazon is these days. Sorry, my brain blacked out for a second. <sighs> and by the way, that H, that uh, hard drive that was, that's in that other computer, this came out of this computer here. Because my nephew wanted a SSD. Yeah, I know this ain't the right type of screws, but that's all I had. 
I don't remember if I changed out that CMOS battery when I first got that computer or not. Or this computer, excuse me. But yeah, that's why it hasn't been shown on my channel lately. Because it's my nephew's. And, um... I think the reason what caused the failure, um... I'm not even going to talk about that on video. It's, the details of it are going to be too disturbing. So, let's just, you know, let's just not even talk about that. Yeah, so... No matter what you do, let's see if the light dims. Well, it kind of down there a little bit. What's that? Did you hear that? Unless I'm just hearing. Unless I'm just hearing things. Hmm. I don't know what that's about. Let me try to plug it back in again. Oh, yeah. Dang it. I didn't see it. I didn't catch it on camera, but that light did dim like hell. I don't think I got it on camera, though, because the camera was pointing. That's exactly what happened. So I unplug this, push that, see if it does it again. Nope, not that time. Dang it. I wish I would have got that on video. That would have been amazing yeah wouldn't know when i met all right let me quit bumping it <sighs> i had the camera pointing straight at the computer not on the sidewalk that would have been something good to catch I'll show you what i that's what i meant when i say when the lights light in here dims like crazy i'll try it one more time let's see just watch closely and see if the lights will dim Nope. Every once in a while it does it. But not... I think it just... I Let me know what you guys think. Because if it's causing this light in here to dim like crazy for like a second, a solid second, maybe a half second, let me know what you guys think, what the issue is. I know, maybe... Because I know... The Mad Scientist JK18, great guy by the way, if you're watching this. He'll know. He'll he'll probably don't be the only one commenting on this. Mm, yeah. I don't know if you saw that there. Maybe that I don't think you saw it there because the flash was on my phone, but the light definitely did dim. So it's try it's trying. But it's just dead <laughs> wow I don't even know if y'all saw it y'all have to go back and well, slow mo that if you, you know what I mean one more time plug it in nope it ain't doing it that time but it'll do it it'll do that every now and then it will And in case you're wondering, still no green light. Which, you can probably go ahead and guess this power supply is done. Well, let me know what you guys think about that other power supply that you've seen in my room earlier. If it will, if you think it will work on here or not. Because I'm thinking about scrapping that computer anyways as a front audio ports don't work and apparently it's just not it's just not new enough as I thought it would be that's why my nephew didn't want that computer in the first place he wanted this one because the SATA 3 SSD was unrecognizable on the other computer that he used to have BIOS won't even recognize this SSD which is I think it's a Western Digital one terabyte don't worry, I'll be saving that in case my nephew needs it for anything. 
But it's, then that probably means he's going to be wanting to come over more often to get on my Acer Nitro 5 laptop, which for those who are wondering, yes, it's still doing good to this day, despite the fact that I messed up the OEM on it. Wish I could find... I wish I could find a way to get the OEM back, but I'm going to have to probably pay a lot to get that restored. Even messed up the Acer disk to disk recovery. That don't even work. All right, one more time. Just for, let's see if it even works. Or let's see if it light dims. Nope, didn't do it that time. But, all right, I think I'm done rambling now. I'm going to go ahead and put this... I don't know. I don't want to put it inside for obvious reasons. I hate to, but I think all the... No, I'm not going to talk about that. It's all cleaned up the best I could. I think it's safe to put inside. You can go. You can probably go ahead and guess what I'm talking about. <laughs> what, what, what was in this computer. You can go ahead and guess. So, which I'd rather not talk about too much. I... I meant to take some pictures of the power supply while I had it open. I forgot to do that. It, everything looked okay to me. <sighs> you know what? Let me let this... Leave this unplugged for a couple minutes. I guess for bonus purposes, we'll open up the power supply here. And we'll have a look inside. see what happens all right I'll come back here in just a minute so if you're wondering why I got this computer back my nephew was texting me on discord saying this fan right here somehow came loose strange right I don't know how maybe the screws maybe I had the fan installed wrong the whole time which I did oil the fan, oh, I apologize, I got that back on, but it had no power when I plugged it back up, but like I said, just for, just for bonus purposes, I'll just unmount this power supply, and we'll see what we're looking like, maybe somebody better can tell me, and yes, I know this isn't the right type of screw driver. This is a flathead. My, um, I do have like a socket wrench or a socket ratchet, but the Ford reverse switch broke on it. So, got to just use a flathead for now to open these type of screws. Yeah, it has that star bed, whatever you call it, star pattern. But like I said, my socket ratchet strap, I can't speak right socket wrench did have that star pattern but again like I said it broke one handed sure um it should just slide right out nope gotta take the nope 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 gotta take that out cause that's gonna yoink and I can yoink, get those two out of there because it's going to break it. I don't think nothing else has to be disconnected from the... Well, what in the 